Hello friends and welcome back to RHQ. Today I'm going to be showing you how to power your microwave and how the microwave gets power. So, first let's see the ways to power your microwave. So one way is by using your USB cable. The second is by using batteries and a battery box. And the third is, from all these, by using your solar panel. So first, let's see how the microbit gets power from the batteries and the battery box. So here I have my microbit, and here I have the positive wire connected to this positive area, and a negative to here, just like in our battery box. So this is how the electricity flows. From here, the positive it goes this way to this negative. Again to the positive and to the negative. And each battery that we place in here is of 1.5 volts. So that shows our microbit needs 3 volts. So what we can do is we can use our solar panel. And instead of connecting uh, uh, cables here and here, we just use that because our batteries aren't bent and they are each 1.5 volts. We can connect the positive wire of our solar panel to your microbit, you will need a solar panel, a battery box, the microbit, two alligator wires, and optionally a solar panel holder and a microbit holder. So first we will add our solar panel to our holder. And so our solar panel is connected and in the stand and now we can attach the battery box to our microbit like this, like this and you can optionally keep it in your holder like this. Now what we need to do is we can first test out with batteries if our microbit is turning on. So here I will add the battery and then you can see and on our microbit here you can see a heart is coming and then quickly a checkbox is coming. So and then once you have this on the side the wires are connected to your box you can add one of your alligator clips like this so here i will add this in and then i will do the same thing with my green alligator clip i will attach that to the spring and you can see it here up here in my diagram the top one is the positive and the spring side is negative. So that means the side with the spring or our green wire here will, co will be connected to our negative side of our solar panel. And our positive, the yellow wire, will be connected to the positive of our solar panel. And already you can see that our microwave is showing a heart and a checkbox like this. So just a bit of sunlight is required for our microbit to turn on. Instead of like in our previous experiment where our motor needs direct sunlight. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos. Bye!